Hello, we will be programming a PCM on a 2008 Lincoln MKZ using the Ford IDS scan tool. The first thing I have done is I have hooked up a stable power supply. I've got it set at 13.8 volts. I suggest anything over 13.2 volts is satisfactory. I also have my BCM2 attached using the USB cable and I have power plugged into my laptop. My BCM2 here is attached to the vehicle. Again, the USB cable is hooked up to the laptop. The first thing we're going to do is open up the IDS. We're going to start a new session. We're going to select all there because we're in the United States and we're going to allow the identification process to occur. Please note that we still have the original PCM installed in this Lincoln MKZ. We have not installed the replacement module yet. Now that the vehicle has been identified correctly, we're going to go up to the toolbox up to the top. We're going to select Programmable Module Installation and we're going to select the PCM. There is a couple of VIN verification streams that pop up that unfortunately didn't get recorded, but that's where you install the new PCM in, into the vehicle at that point. Now after the new module's in, we're going to follow the directions, we're going to turn the key on, and then the, this little box is going to show up and go through the PCM programming sequence. Once the programming has completed, you'll be instructed to turn off the key. Turn off the key and allow this process to occur. There will be several on-off of the key sequences here. It's instructing you to start the engine at this point. Because it's a new PCM and the keys have not been learned, the vehicle will not start. Just turn the key on. This is the screen you expect to see when the programming has been completed. Now we must go do the security or the patents learn. This screen shows us that the 
Pats is in the cluster and that a parameter reset is required. A parameter reset means that you necessarily are not going to need to program two keys. You only need one good key that the instrument cluster recognizes to program it. This pr process does take 10 minutes. You will have to wait for the entire process for the 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes has completed, you will have some options here. Make sure you choose parameter reset before you do anything else. At this point, if we're not adding any new keys, the process is completed, the vehicle should start. 